Hello everyone. In this in INR number 72, I am going to discuss another important PYQ based topic, juvenile myoclonus epilepsy. Right? So what is juvenile myoclonus epilepsy? Remember, this is another name for that Jans syndrome. So please remember this is also called as Jans syndrome. And who will be affected by this disorder? These are usually adolescents between the age of 12 to 16 years, right? So adolescents will be commonly affected. And in this patient, you will see myoclonic jerks. It will be seen early in the morning hours upon wakening, right? So this will be early in the morning hours upon wakening. So brief shock-like muscle jerks in early morning hours upon wakening is very important feature of the juvenile myoclonus epilepsy. And remember most commonly because uh, these patient right these patient most commonly uh, they have generalized tonic clonic seizure so most commonly generalized tonic clonic seizure right so majority of them right more than 60 percent cases will be having this generalized tonic clonic seizure and one by third cases will be having absence seizure this is what it is given in harrison right so absence seizure will be seen in one by third cases so a tonic or drop attack will be seen right so one third have absence seizure but majority will be having generalized tonic clonic seizure and it is very characteristic that it will be provoked by sleep deprivation this is the point was this is the point mentioned in harrison it is provoked by sleep deprivation and they will be having positive family history also right so on eeg what you will find generalized polyspike and wave discharges which will be ranging from three to six hertz right so you can see this is the generalized poly spike and wave discharges ranging from three to six hertz and drug of choice will be valproate for the juvenile myoclonus epilepsy so keep revising these topics you will be getting in your exam and my best wishes to all of you